During the Second World War, the nations of the world produced tons and tons and tons of military equipment. Some of which most notably came from the Soviet Union with their mass amounts of T-34 tanks. Now, if you open up the history books and ask yourselves, well, I wonder who made the most mass produced number of bombers And America, that title holder Yeehaw! is you. During the Second World War, the United States Air Force or the United States Army Air Force managed to produce nearly 19,000 B-24 Liberator bombers. When you take that into account and then add in the Soviet Union's army full of tanks, it's no surprise that the Germans lost in the end. So today, I want to put it to the test. I want to see if you can beat Hoi 4 only using B-24 bombers. And we're going to be doing that in the Road to 56 mod. Now, what is a video like this without a few challenges? Challenge numero uno. I am only allowed to use in combat the B-24 Liberator bomber, which means fighters, which means bombers of all other designations are not allowed to be used in the air. I am allowed a army, but it is only allowed to guard the homeland. I am not allowed to use it to attack, which means I will undoubtedly be relying on all of my allies. And last but not least, I have to produce more than 19,000 B-24 Liberators, because, you know, what's a record if a new one can't be set? With that being the case, I cannot wait to hop on in, so don't forget to, of course, drop a like and subscribe if you're interested. And without further ado, let's hop on in. Now, I do very rarely play the Rota 56 mod, and I do very rarely play the USA. However, looking at things, they only add a small bit to the American tree, and that's down here, Foundation of NATO, which is all post-war stuff. Like, they've got uh, Iberia, Greece, Turkey, the Yugos, etc., etc. So that's, that's fair enough. That's another bridge to cross when we eventually get there. For now, I need to make sure FDR doesn't get thrown out of government, so we're going to go ahead, continue the New Deal, and get hunky-dory. We also have have the favor of hindsight which means i'm going to send a bunch of garrison troops to the philippines to the pacific and to hawaii because i cannot have the pesky japanese coming in and taking all of my territory whilst i'm trying to deal with europe also because it's road to 56 we also get a bunch of other research bonuses which is nice and by the looks of it the aircraft stuff does stay the same looking at models here we obviously have the b18 the b17 the b24 and then we have the B-29. Oh my god, my, my, my knowledge of aircraft is being pushed to the edge here. Okay, so we're now in 1937. We're literally two, three months away from 38. It is finally time to make a decision. I've been doing these focuses here to get my political power up. Now it is time to decide if we're going limited or neutrality. Now, I want to go as historical as focus, uh, focus as possible, so I want to go for neutrality. I'm going to go for neutrality, and then by going down this path, it also gives us, you know, the, the arsenal of democracy, which gives us a bunch of military factories. We also get our... I think it's our eighth research slot. I, I need to fact check that. Six, seventh. I'll get my seventh research slot, which is quite nice. And then after I've started to go down here, it's going to finally be time to go down here. War plans division, and then go strategic bombing, which gives me production cost for heavy bomber, flying fortresses, combined bomber offensive. It's just going to be all hell let loose with my bombers. I cannot wait. I'm just getting through my researches now, and then I'm going to go back to my bombers and start going through all of this, and then eventually get my B-24 Liberator. So there we go. In 1939, the fate of Czechoslovakia has been sealed. The Germans have expanded once more, which means the Germans are only round the corner from going after Poland and France. Again, with that being the case, we need to start getting ready. I am just about ready to start going down the route of aircraft, and I only have 225 days left until I can start building the Liberator, of which I am very, very, very prepared for. I just need to make use of my eight research slots, sorry, my seven research slots, and I'm also on the verge of starting to produce some military factories, which means I can start mass producing my sta strategy bombers. As you can see, I'm also pumping out infantry units, but again, this is just to guard the homeland. We've got our homeland here, we've got our islands, and we also have have our puppet uh, Philippines who might as well be classified as homeland so I'm sending all my troops over to do their guarding again I am not using them to attack I am only using them to, to, to guard I'm not entirely sure what that stutter was but hey <laughs> once I've got all my troops in place I'm also going to go ahead and do this there we go. I want to start putting coastal forts down on every single port so that when the Japanese try to naval invade, everything is hunky-dory. But again, I just need to hope that the British Air Force and the British troops of the Commonwealth can, can come together and just really, really help me out here because I am relying solely on my Air Force. I'm going to build a navy, like a submarine navy, just to guard this coastal area so I don't get naval invaded, but ay ay ay. 
And after a long old wait in 1939 of November, it is finally here. My beloved B-24 Liberator has finally arrived. Now granted, we're only going to be pushing out a max of two of these a month because of how expensive they are, but I'm just going to have to go ham. I'm going to need to put every single military factory that I own onto these guys because I want to produce them like no other. After all, I need to make more than 19,000 of these things. And just like the focus says, the giant wakes. That's right, we are now ready to enter the war. We have 271 factories, 215 of which are civilian. Now, the, the Americans haven't been attacked by the Japanese just yet. So we are striking the iron whilst it's hot. We are jumping in early, mainly because the whole world has capitulated and UK is barely hanging on. I saw a German naval invasion to the Isle of Man and that did not fill me with very much confidence. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ask to join faction. They will accept, which means we are now part of the kerfuffle. Now, one of the rules I set out when we began was that I am only allowed to defend or use my infantry or use my army to defend my homeland. Now, as much as I want to say, oh, there's an American embassy and that counts as British or that counts as American soil or, oh, there was American air bases until like the 70s. So that's American soil. I feel like that's cheesing it just a little bit too much. So I'm only going to send over my aircraft. I, I can build more airfields and such to house my aircraft, but I feel like if I send my infantry that's taking the mickey just a little bit so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead join in like i have now and i'm gonna see if i can't turn the tables on the germans okay so things are not looking too hot and i feel like this challenge is pretty much dead in the water if i don't help the ai because like things are not looking too hot like currently i've got my navy in repair i am strategy bombing as you can see and things are looking green which is fantastic the brits are naval invading into italy which is good and they're holding on into albania which is fantastic however the japanese have finally declared on me and uh, i've already lost the philippines my 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 troops that are holding it down are just not doing a good job at all i do have one little ounce of 37 <laughs> liberators but they're liberating absolutely nothing and uh, the brits are the Raj are currently occupied because the Thai have decided to join the 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 Japanese. That's what I was trying to say. Good God. Okay. But that's the kind of situation we're in. Like we're in 42. I'm gonna try and hang on to like 45, 46, just doing the strap bombing. And then after that, if I have no choice, then I will just have to start using infantry. I don't know what more I can do. The AI is like useless. Even look, 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 even the Soviets are barely hanging on. I I don't know how they're gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with just an air force and navy guarding my ports i feel like i bit off more than i can chew dude i am i am literally frothing at the bit right now to go and get involved with infantry or something because like with my air support has done very minimal but it's done enough to damage the airfield so that there's not much of a re i say not much of a resistance there's nearly 1600 fighters but i've damaged enough and i've helped enough in order to get the infantry in from my allies which is fantastic but like look no one is guarding the border no one is guarding the border say over here no one is guarding the border i just want to get my infantry units and just go ham on all of them but it just i can't because i just need to keep at it with my beloved uh my beloved uh i can't even say the name of it my beloved b24s i am producing these guys so i can add some more defense to the philippines um but as it stands my heavy bombers dude i have none like i have literally none right now my my they're just not happening it's not happening <laughs> like i have this many factories in and bro i've only got two in stockpile i didn't realize how expensive strap bombers were <laughs> and i looked online as well i looked on the marvelous land that is wiki and reddit land and uh, i found out that basically strap bombers in single player are uh, they're useless <laughs> <laughs> apparently they're more effective in mp and roleplay um so yeah this is turning out pretty well i mean we're winning that's not a bad thing right <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to the wonderful world of struggle. We are now in March of 1945 and I finally have an opportunity to end things halfway at least. Unfortunately, my beloved ally of Britain, they managed to get, you know, Europe under control. They managed to get most of Asia under control and then they bottled it. They completely lost France. They completely lost Italy and they completely lost Thailand. I've managed to hold on to the Philippines though. Things are looking good there. And in my lovely airfield of Luzon, I finally have 900 strategic B-24 
bombers. I finally have my liberator. Things are looking good. Now, as you can see, because of my darling liberators, I now have power over Japan just for a second. I have two nuclear bombs and I've never managed to make Japan surrender to me like this, but I've got Kokura, drop, and Nagasaki, drop. I'm hoping by doing this, the war will end and I can at least get Japan out of the picture. Fingers crossed, we can finally use our bombers somehow to do something good. Let's test the waters, test the waters, test the waters, pound our enemies into dust. Both bombs have dropped. Is that gonna piece? Yes, it pieced. It pieced. Oh, I needed that. I so badly needed that. Why are we still at war? Because they pieced out others, but they didn't piece me. Tojo, what are you doing, bro? So I've had to put my bombers now on standby because we've lost all of the airspace over Japan. Now, I do have some cast planted here, ready to roll, just in case, as well as some fighters, just in case I do need to say this challenge is a fail. I need to maximize using the rest of my equipment. However, oh God, hold on. We got a landing. We got a landing. Let me deal with it. So in my head, at least, that should have been enough to cause a peace deal. That should have been enough to throw Japan out of the battle. But for some reason, they're still going. Now, I don't understand why I've never, ever made Japan surrender using the nuke method. That was my first attempt at doing it. And they managed to peace out Iceland, but that's as far as it went. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do to, to make my strategy bombers work. Okay, so let's try this once more. Attempt number two. I now have my 1,000 bombers. I'm going to go ahead, strike the lovely land of Japan again, wait for it to go green. Right, it's green. We're just going to go ahead this time, Hiroshima, and then we're going to go ahead and do Osaka as well. Hopefully this is enough to seal the deal, wait for the bombs to drop, and then maybe the second bout will cause them to cap. Atomic Bomb in Kyoto, Legacy and Beauty mean nothing in a war like this. How many more will fall? The Cypher of Japan is finished, and it seems like they're still not dropping. Great. <laughs> in the meantime, though, uh, we have laws to enact. Uh, we have unlocked this, the Southern African American Marginalization. Like, ma ma I can't even say this word. Marginalization. There we go. Uh, <laughs> now, I need to do this where I fight Jim Crow. Apparently, Jim Crow laws is a thing. I think this is like a racism law thing. That Wasn't this the law that was just like black people can't be pilots or something? And that's what the Tuskegee were about because they were fighting against that law. Again, I know nothing about American politics. So this is completely out of the picture for me. Anyway, we're going to fight Jim Crow and we're going to fight him in all of the states of America and we can only do one at a time, which kind of sucks because that's really long, but we'll do what we can. But unfortunately, it seems I can't do anything with just strategic bombers. It seems, you know, B-25, or sorry, B-24 uh, liberators are an absolute lovely strategic asset to have. Um, they're just not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not like i've got 233 in reserve i've got like how do i say i've got 1200 in the field they're just doing absolutely nothing for me they're doing absolutely bugger all i'm gonna go off camera and i'm gonna play this until 1948 i'm hoping that the uk won't cap as you can see the ai is so unreliable that i've now had to move some of my divisions and break rule number one of keeping you know my troops in the homeland because otherwise it would be irredeemable i wouldn't be able to pull myself back from this because of how incompetent the ai is so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take back ireland for britain with my marine units i'm gonna bring some uh infantry units over here and i'm gonna garrison them in the uk to make sure that they don't get overrun because of their incompetence and i will see you guys in like another four years three years and hopefully things are looking better Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're now in the year of 1948, and things are not looking too hot. The Indians have managed to expand. I do have my troops on the border, just trying to hold the territory uh, that they have done expanding, because they, I don't know why, but the AI has this bad habit of taking land, expanding, and then completely abandoning it to go focus on a different front, which allows the AI to come in and take more land. So I'm just reinforcing what they've taken just to try and make some form of progress. We're now in 1948, about to hop into 1949. Uh, my navy is now finally doing bits against the japanese navy which is quite nice we've managed to knock them down to a lovely 90 oh no even 90 49 ships which is fantastic the only problem remaining is their supersized army the soviets are still holding on the brits have lost italy once again and the re the rebellions in the netherlands and the belgian lands have keep happening but they keep flopping at the same time i have around 2000 of my lovely b24 liberators in stock and i have around 5000 of them in the field totally to about 7,000, a long way off the desired 19,000. Although granted, I think the B-24 Liberator was actually produced from the 40s all the way through until like 57 or something. So I feel like that's the United number, not the World War II number. Seeing as I've played now from what, 37 to 48, I've been, I've been in this for like 10 years now and we're showing no signs of progress. I feel like you cannot beat Hoi 4 with only strategy 
bombers. It's just not doable, especially with the AI or your, your ally AI being this incompetent. Maybe if I was playing as Germany, or sorry, playing as fascist America and Germany was my ally, it'd be a different story, but uh, unfortunately it's not. So I'm going to accept my losses and say, okay, it is what it is. I need to get boots on the ground. So now it's time for America to wake up and put an end to all this nonsense. I'm going to get Marines. I'm going to get infantry units. My Navy's already doing bits. It's time to go in and fix this mess that the AI seem to not be able to comprehend. You know, when I took on this challenge, I wasn't expecting to be in it for the long haul, but here we are. <laughs> We're sitting here on the 25th of Feb 1950 and we've only just taken back Malaya. Um, we've also taken back Thailand and stuff like this. I've taken this territory from the Brits because I need more mill factories because I need to produce tanks like no other. My equipment is severely lacking in the tank department and I don't like it. In terms of China and Japan, I feel like I can take mainland China. I just need more infantry units so I'm in the process of trying to pump them out and then once China falls, Japan should be fairly easy. I'm hoping I can get it done soon because uh, Britain seems to be prioritizing Asia over everything else and they've also lost Africa. I don't know why. Normally the AI is really really good for the allies but the allies this time they suck. They're so bad. Like how how's Britain bottled it that bad? After a long old wait it is finally done. It is finally time. The Empire of Japan has capitulated. I got boots on the ground and I got them in. Thankfully to my strap bombers you know nuking the nuking the ports we managed to get in nice and easy. Now that Japan have capped I just need to get rid of China and then it's good job GG's. Let's move on to the next. I just need to get China out, get this faction sorted, and then I can focus on Europe and maybe wrap this up. We're already in 1952, it's already a bit of a stretch. <laughs> And uh, I'm very close to getting my strat bombers. As you can see, heavy bombers, 8.6 in lock and 5,000 in the field. Doing the math, that totals at... Totals out at about 13 and a bit thousand, right? So that means I've only got another 7,000 to produce and I've made more bombers than they did historically. So let's get things sorted. I'm going to go ahead, sort China out, get that peace deal sorted, and then I can reroute everyone to cleaning up Africa and Europe because this has just gone on for far too long. So this one took a lot longer because after I did China, Britain declared on Iraq and that made them the leader of the party or leader of the faction so I had to take them out. Also, as you can see, we're now at war with Iran because Britain declared war on them as well. Smarty pants AI who can't even deal with this wants to start more. I'm going to go ahead and take my territory. You know, at first I was going to say, oh, you know, we're only doing this for the bombers. No, I don't care anymore. I'm taking as much territory as I want. I'm taking all the territory I demand. And after this, I'm going to fix this because this just became even more problematic. Now, what I mean by this became more problematic is that uh, Italy left the Axis and took a bunch of people with them to form the Romanum faction. So now I have to deal with the Germans and the Italians in different peace deals. <sighs> Okay, anyway, I'm going to get this peace treaty and see what I can do. And there is peace treaty one of three. We've already done what Nixon never could, and that's the policy of containment. Republic of Vietnam, Tonkin, is now our puppet. We also have most of uh, most of American lands taking China and Japan. Korea is now a puppet. We've got American China with their capital in Baoji. We also have China up here with their capital being in Harbin. We also went ahead and puppeted the Dutch East Indies, and they are now led by Joko. He's a joker. <laughs> and we now have... Have the Republic of Iraq as our puppet which gives us a good standing point to deal with the French in the west and the Iranians in the east. Because we're already in like 1953 and this is near enough a 20 minute video I'm gonna speed things up okay I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna try and just deal with the Italians and once I get halfway through Europe I will catch up with you then. Again the goal is still to get like 19,000 of these things. Uh, I need my B24 liberators that was the whole point of this video in the first place and I'm going to absolutely decimate Europe in revenge for the fact of I couldn't beat the game with only my 24 Liberator. So um, I'm, I'm going to act out. <laughs> All right then, guys. Well, with that being said, I'll see you soon. And hopefully I see you before 55. Okay, guys. So here we are on the 13th of February, 1953. And unfortunately, this is actually where I'm going to have to end it. It's not because, you know, things are taking too long, which they kind of are. But it's because the game keeps crashing. Like, I, I keep getting to, like, the 7th of April. And then all of a sudden, the game just crashes completely. It just completely shuts down. I don't know if it's because there's too many units in play. I mean, let's have a look. Hold on. Germany are rocking how many? 700. The Soviet Union are dropping 900. The French state, 200. UK dropping 53. India 27. How many am I rocking? That's a good question. I don't even know. I'm rocking 300. Yeah, it might just be a matter of, of having too many divisions in play all at one time. How many have Italy got? Four. Nice. So with that being the case, unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it here. And we'll look back and review our points that we made at the beginning of the video. We had three challenges. One was to keep boots on the ground only in our home state. We failed that one. <laughs> the number two was to beat the game 
Oh, we're using our allies on the ground and only using the B-24 Liberator, which unfortunately we've not been able to do because our AI has been so unreliable and just so useless to the point of where I had to get boots on the ground to, to sort of make progress. Maybe if I went fascist and sided with the Germans, it would have been a different story, but for now, it's a no-no. And number three, to produce 19,000 bombers. I was very, very close to producing 19,000 bombers. As you can see, we're currently sitting at 16,573 strap bombers of my beloved B-24 Liberators. However, uh, because we've had to end the video now uh, and we've had to end it early, I couldn't make that. So we managed to fail all three challenges. Yay, woo. <laughs> But this has been a fun one to see, you know, I wanted to put it to the test to see whether or not strap bombers are just OP or not, and it turns out that they're not, unless you're nuking every single tile. But with that being the case, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to, of course, leave a like and subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, leave a comment down below of what you'd like me to see or try next. So till then, all the best, have a good one, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-da!